Hey, Kelly, how you doing? Yes, I have the Apple Watch Series 6 here, which was just announced on Tuesday. It starts shipping tomorrow. This is a new high-end Apple Watch that you can buy, and it comes in this cool new blue color. A couple new features. Brighter display has blood oxygen tracking, so you can monitor the level of blood uh, oxygen in your blood, rather. But this is for wellness only, Apple says, not for fitness. And then I also have the new iPad, which starts at $329. It's really similar to Apple's other iPads um, that they've launched in previous years, but it has new processors. And I think is most compelling at its price point, especially now, Apple said in the fiscal third quarter that uh, iPad sales were up double digits, 30 plus percent. So uh, good time to launch these new products. And while we're talking about the Apple Watch too, I did want to say that Apple has the new uh, Apple Watch SE, which starts at $279 versus $399 for this. And then the Apple Watch Series 3, which starts at $199. So it has this big family of compelling products across all price points, which I think will serve it pretty well as it tries to expand its market share. Yes, that may be the case, Todd, but show, dazzle us a little. You know, show, Can you show us how the blood dazzle oxygen works? So, or, or Give me something. Yeah, so give you something. All right, so you put it on your wrist and you just scroll. I'll put it next to my other one. You scroll through the apps here and I tap blood oxygen. So I'll bring it up to the camera so you can see. And then I hit start. Move it towards it's your really, face a uh, little. Difficult to do. See, it's difficult to show here I... over uh, <laughs> in these times. Todd, you have and no blood oxygen. And it basically just gives you out of yeah. reading. <laughs> but it gives you, so it just has this fancy animation. It gives you out of reading. It's similar to what uh, you might see when you go to the doctor and you get a, a finger blood oxygen monitor. Um, but those are medical grade, and this isn't medical grade. So what Apple's saying basically is it's good for hiking or things like that. And then it's doing three research projects to see how well uh, the Apple Watch does in those before it can make any sort of claims that this is a medical device. So you shouldn't buy it for that. Do you like the new watch faces? Now, I, I'm a little stuck on this because I wish I had more options. Yeah. I want one. I like when it shows me like a little message preview and a calendar and all stuff. But like a lot of the watch faces just show the numbers and I, I, I need more options. So that's one of the biggest things that came out in Watch OS 7 yesterday. It's on these watches, but we'll roll to all of the available watches now. Um, so if you have an older model, is that Apple's adding uh, watch faces that anybody can share, create their own, share them around, or app developers can make one. There's one for surfing, for example. And then there's this fun one I have myself here. It's just like a little Memoji of me <laughs> um, and about six others. So you can see all the information you need. So the surfing one, for example, would show high tide and low tide. Uh, and there's various ones for calendars, your fitness, your workouts, stuff like that. All so right. there's a lot more to answer. You questions. almost put your whole password in there. I, I, I got that. <laughs> Todd, Todd right. thank you so much. <laughs> we always appreciate uh, kind of getting your review thank of you, these Kelly. products. Thank you, Kelly. I can't wait to see you in person so I can show it. I know. Someday, hopefully soon. Uh, and if you want more detail on kind of Todd's takeaway on all of these new products, go to CNBC.com to find that.